take those into consideration too. It may not be always like that. So uh, I feel like just sticking to your guns and then just getting as far as you can with that character. And then once the meta has strongly developed and you can tell yourself, okay, I don't think this character is really cutting it. I feel like I'm actually limited by it rather than my game knowledge is what it's limited. Right. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Good way of looking at it. Okay, so we got uh, Luigi and uh, Snake on. Kevin H and Toski. Okay. Haven't quite seen these names, but also at the same time, I recognize one of their faces, so I feel like there might have been a tag change somewhere down the line. There's been so many tag changes in uh, SoCal, it's, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Yep, all right, grenade setup, yep. Catches a jump. Ooh, he be reversed the, <laughs> the grenade, okay. Yeah, uh, be reverse grenade is usually a really good landing tool. Uh, for Snake and usually keeps people like on their toes about like how a Snake's gonna land. It's one of the few like landing options he has since his aerials have a lot of startups, so it's yeah. hard to like out prioritize them unless the hitbox is already out. But it seems like uh, new, uh, the downer from Snake kind of drifts him a little bit. Not quite sure about that. I just I toyed with it for like a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, drop the C4 and the the grenade. Still good, able to land. Ooh, look how he dropped another C4. Unless that was the pin of the grenade. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Just holding on to grenades. I, I really enjoy the way that, uh, that... Tulski? Yeah, that's Tusky. Uh, the way that he's playing. Oh, no. That wasn't good. Uh, unfortunate. Uh, that's usually what snakes like to do, is because you can't really stop the, the cyclone, or whatever it's called, the cypher or something like that. Yeah. And, uh, so the only way you can really stop it is the directional air dodging. You try to do that, I guess he did a little bit preemptively. There's a lot of grenades into a falling up air. Great stuff. Great tool against Luigi. The way that Luigi just likes to get up in your zone and just start pummeling you. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good stuff from Toski. I think this is a, a really smart way of playing uh, this particular matchup. Yeah, I think Toski is doing a relatively good job of uh, the grenade usage. Uh, some things I'd like to see is just that uh, a little bit more of the actual strafe mode that you get with the grenade. A lot of people like to mix up the strafe and then like do a roll or something afterwards to be able to pressure different positions. Innings. He's not quite doing that, but the grenades are working as it is anyway, so it doesn't quite matter. And you know, they buffed that up till, uh, they were, in, in a sense, they, they made the sweet spot bigger. Yeah. So that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> that's just awful. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't really have anything to really set up into it besides down throw at uh, over 160, so I guess they thought that maybe he needed it, who knows. I mean, he can hit from the back. He was able to hit from the back already. Just, you know, hey. No, but we love Snake. I mean, SoCal, uh, give him the 818, you know how many Snakes are around. It's, yeah. It's pretty terrifying. And then he's covering, uh, like, uh, like I said, uh, Toski's really covering a lot of his options with just these grenades, and it's giving him an H of real. Woo! Yeah, it's just difficult to navigate around them. You kind of, I feel like as time goes on, okay, I like that idea, trying to use the fireball, but the explosion's a little bit too big. Oh. Nikita lands on him, that's going to be the stock, two stock. Sandwich between two nukes. I think one thing that's going to be big uh, later on is counting the times that the grenades have been out for. Because uh, the grenade is out for about maybe three and a half, four seconds, something like that. Really? So you really have to, it's kind of like counting cards. You kind of have to keep track of how long everything's been there. Like what's the probability that this one will explode as opposed to this one, stuff like that. I feel like you're going to have to have some big brain plays uh, again, playing around uh, snake stuff. It's possible, I feel. Yeah, definitely. Because being able to use those grenades against him is kind of, I think, unless I'm crazy, which I certainly am, I think the grenades at like the the full throw does like three or four percent. Yeah, just a three. Just a three. Oh god. That's something to sneeze at. When you're just taking it like that. Alright. Okay. Uh, already getting a decent amount of percentage so far. Great parry, but gonna get caught by that dash attack, not gonna get caught right there. Directional air dodge, I like it. No, Luigi's element of fire. I think that will play a bit of a part for the grenades. Uh, I, I think the, the element of fire kind of explodes them a bit easier, unless I'm wrong about that. I think fire hitboxes, when they touch, uh, it, it makes them explode, yeah. Yeah, but I was going to say, I think uh, any old hitbox will set a grenade off. I, yeah, it looks like it. It, may, it might uh, depend on strength, but who knows. Oh, back throw, gets a DI mix up off of that. Send them really far off, try to intercept them. I like. I would like to see Kevin try to call out the air dodge to the stage. It's still vulnerable uh, like before they touch the stage, so it's, it can give them opportunities to actually intercept them because it, it, he's been predictable with how he goes in. Yeah, and I think with the fact that uh, Luigi has such a long-lasting nair, he, he would be able to get a nice uh, couple of punishes off of it, I think. Okay, C4, sitting down. Yep, uh, does he have his headphones in? No, I don't think so. Um, you can react to it audibly when he, he hears Snake say now. Otherwise, you kind of have to look at the Snake uh, pressing the, the grenade. It's easier to react to it audibly. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. But uh, all things considered, uh, being able to just throw out a fireball, it's, it's nice for Luigi. He'll be able to make some really quick uh, clinch neutral plays. Oh, okay. I like that. Getting that uh, grab extended into a dash attack. Oh, I expected a grab there. That would have worked out, too. Uh, yeah, right now, right about now, if he gets one pummel on a grab, he should be able to grab it to like an uphill or something right now. But it's a matter of Kevin uh, allowing that to happen. He's been doing a good job of uh, staying away from Snake's grab range, just like that. He just knows what he's looking for right now. Yeah, Kevin really adapting here. Ooh, trying to fish for that up smash. That, I don't know if that would have killed, but that would have really scared me. Alright, just able to shield through. C4 is out. Uh, okay, that almost is really bad, too. Interesting. Trying to use his air hitbox and gonna get caught on the roll. Rolls his eyes as he gets hit by up tilt again. Oh. Okay. Not enough time. Yeah, I don't know why he. I, I think he tried to up B first and then air dodge and then that just didn't happen. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, oh. he'll be making it. There. Yeah, he'll yeah. be fine. Kevin H's not really getting the uh, the zero to death that uh, we all saw him go for. Oh, okay, that was a good little. Uh, Trade. It wasn't even really a trade. He just stopped that there from happening. Forward smash when he came back. Okay, Luigi. Okay, up tilt. Yeah, just too many explosives. Hard to keep track of them. Sometimes on the brighter stages, just the way the it interacts with the light in the background, it's kind of hard to see where they go. Sometimes in the heat of the moment. Oh. Up tilt. Yeah. He's kind of staying that up tilt, but honestly, it's such a strong move. Uh, it should still be able to kill with 130. Yeah, usually the damage that you receive from getting hit by it is enough to Just counter fine. counteract the staling it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dash okay. One more time. Yeah, he's really going on the dash attack we can save. I don't think it is. He was doing a good job of keeping at the ledge. Just kind of gave it up there. Still up by uh, a stock, though, so Toshi has to kind of bring it back and try and figure out what's going on. Definitely. Uh, rolling in a fireball, that definitely wasn't the best play. Okay. Uh, Kevin H just kind of throwing out hitboxes all day and just allowing himself to uh, stay safe. Better read a roll. Yeah, that's a back throw. That'll be it. Yeah. Okay, bringing back around. Two stock. Uh, a couple of SDs from uh, Toski, but regardless, still going to take that game. Yeah, that's kind of demoralizing whenever that happens. It messes up the way that you play. Still, though, uh, that, was, that was still some generally nice... Um, is adaptivity a word? Adaptive adaptation? Adaptation, there we go. Thank you. Uh, no, that was some good adaptation from uh, Luigi. I think the fact of the matter is that he's just rushing down Snake, which is, Snake is usually pretty terrified of that, or at least when it comes to a character like Luigi, yeah. that just capitalizes on uh, screwing up. Okay. All right, here we go. Going to the best version of FD, if I do say so myself. Yeah, that stained glass is really pretty. Oh, goodness. That was a really good forward tilt. Interesting fireball. I don't know if you meant to do that. But regardless, getting a big combo off of those up airs into the forward smash the other side, catching that directional air dodge. Trying to get a little bit of difference with that you know, when he drops the, the grab. I don't really know what to call that. It's not a good hand grab or anything. Wonder. Okay. Oh, that was a good landing. He hasn't really done that. So that was a nice little mix-up option for me there. Okay. And the fire did not explode the, the grenade on impact, so... Maybe that's a way to land the ground. I, I have to see. I'm sure someone's going to make a snake, snake guide eventually. Trying to dash dance, kind of playing with this control a little bit too much. And Toski says, you know what, I'm just going to go in. Yeah. You were you were really doing that in the right way. Okay, another down beat. Not gonna come. Ooh, I didn't even see that C4 over there. Okay. Yeah. I see the one over there, though. The far right. Uh, maybe that was Toski's strategy. The, the red uh, the red carpet. So <laughs> it's kind of hard to see the C4. He's standing on it right now. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Yep. I see someone uh, using uh, Castle Umbra for uh, the Bayonetta stage, where it's all like gravel and gravel. Mm -hmm. That seems to work out this stage. Okay. Okay, they're both at the stage. Okay, Toski just runs away. He's like, all right, I'm not trying to reversal this. I'm just going to make it back to neutral, I try and survive. totally agree with that. That's what I would do. Okay, good up tilt. Getting really close for comfort right now, too. Uh, it out, throwing out more explosives. I like the attempts from Kevin, trying to parry around all these options, and yeah, there's a C4. Okay, I like that. Just uh, as Kevin's trying to figure out how to get in, then just uh, dash attack him. His oh, man. Yeah, there wasn't really much getting out of that. His own grenade just kind of kept him stuck there. Okay, landing with the down B. He hasn't done that too often, so I like, I appreciate the mix up there. And the explosion. 
Good parry. Yeah, getting a nice little forward tilt out of that. Oh, missing that up tilt. Oh, no, you're both whipping your stuff, but uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, man. Forward smash. Taking it out. Okay. Up tilt. Trying to chase him in the air. Still going to catch him on the landing. I feel like uh, as Kevin just try ch tries to chase him in the air, what mostly he's been excelling at is just using that dash attack burst option to catch the landing most of the time. Yeah. And it's been working out. Oh, hey, there we go. That plunger finally putting into work. But Luigi has a little something on it. Oh, now it's on Snake. Yep. Uh, I think it's like if you pass. It, it kind of works like in Brawl. It's like if you pass by it or something like that. Wow, the directional air dodge. You get around it. C4 does detonate on its own if you leave it alone for a while. But he was able to air dodge through it at the right time. It works out for him. Wow. That is a really hard thing to do. No okay, Cypher. Oh, still, land oh, okay. Well, still okay. landing onto an up smash. Yeah. Good grenade throwing. I, I like that. Okay, dash attack in, yeah. Dash attack is uh, intangible on its arms as it comes in. Oh, was that a back air? I think it was. Yeah, yeah. that's going to take out the next stock. Oh, whipping that grab, but Luigi doesn't whip his. Oh, no. Are we going to? No, okay. I think he went. He wanted to go for an up air just like that. Not quite in the right position, though, but that was so much damage. I would not be mad about that at all. Yeah, one neutral win, and that's all he needed to bring this back around. Yeah. Pretty much got him at a high percent. If he can get something going, he's going to have a lot of potential. This is where Snake just starts camping. Oh, okay, never mind. He went for a dash attack. There we go. Big explosion. You saw he almost died uh, off the top to the explosions. He's trying to find the up tilt. Oh, goes around it. Oh. No up tilt comes out. Yeah, dropping shield into up tilt, turnaround. Takes a lot of frames, so it's going to be unlikely that you're going to be able to catch it unless your opponent presses the button, but he's able to avoid it. Oh, oh that was just a potential, like, it. dare or back air out of shield. Nikita comes out finally, yeah, and that's say. it. Yeah, I was going to say, okay. That was some good stuff. I was, I was just about to say, like, that Nikita took forever to show its face. Uh, but he ended up getting an up tilt out of that, so that was nice, giving Luigi something to think about.